y'all peace everybody welcome back to my channel it's me shante maria just back with another quick video wanted to just kind of speak about um this situation that happened in detroit actually this case came out maybe what's well, an ongoing case i'll say that <laughs> so not not laughing at the situation because it's, it's it's absolutely insane it's actually very traumatizing y'all know me being a dv survivor um it's it is really scary it is really scary but it it just goes to show me again why my brother told me so many years ago men are way more emotional than women i know we tend to think oh women y'all act out of y'all emotions and yada 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 and i will say we do and i will say for me in general i can act out of emotions I'm not gonna, I had a little situation last night. <laughs> I'm filming this uh, with on a two, uh, when, ooh, time is going by, on a Wednesday. Um, and I was definitely in my emotions last night. I had to put on my big girl panties and apologize. But so women, we can. I feel like as you get older, you check it. And you know, of course I, I go to therapy or whatever. So sometimes I realize it before it happens, but of course I'm human. So there is sometimes I have to double back and apologize. Like, yeah, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Whatever. You probably really did have me effed up. But <laughs> I didn't have to, you know, react or say certain things out of that. And so with this situation, this man, y'all take this whole baby mama, baby daddy beef, like, to the grave. And I don't get it. Like, there is so many conversations that need to be had about this, but we're going to go ahead and run the news clips. Y'all can kind of catch up because y'all know I like to ramble, okay? So, I'm going to um, roll the clip, and I'll be back in a sec. Five what prosecutors are calling a horrifying case of domestic abuse that later turned into a murder-for-hire plot that left a Detroit woman dead. A Detroit man and his nephew are behind bars tonight, charged with the murder of Tiffany Joseph. This case follows a violent crime that dates back to October of 2020. The prosecution in that case ended up delayed because of the pandemic. Rod Maloney has been digging in on both cases tonight as this uncle and nephew both stand charged with murder. A lot more questions left asked than answered here because this house is burned out and a woman was found shot to death here. But we do not know whether the house burned before, during, or after. But there is one thing for certain. For its former resident, 32-year-old Tiffany Joseph, it was a very violent place. Detroit police called out here just before midnight on July 4th. They found Tiffany's body inside. She'd been shot. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Cromer, can you state your name for the record, please? Billy Cromer. Arraigned from behind bars today in the Wayne County Jail and wearing a COVID mask, 35-year-old Billy Ray Cromer. Here's a better look at his face. He's charged with trying to hire his nephew to kill his girlfriend, and he's facing a premeditated first-degree murder charge. Prosecutors say Spencer Lewis Cromer III agreed to the hired hit suggested by his uncle on the 4th of July, and he's now facing premeditated first-degree murder and felony firearms charges. But it was back in October of 2020 in the now gutted home that Detroit police and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office say that Cromer beat a pregnant Tiffany Joseph so badly she lost her baby. The elder Cromer arrested by Detroit police charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm, torture and felonious assault. That beating so bad, Prosecutor Kim Worthy at the time noted in a press release, quote, this office has been presented with well over 30,000 domestic violence warrants in just the last five years. I can unequivocally say that the alleged facts in this case are among the worst I have seen, end quote. And because of COVID closing down the 36th District Court, that case ended up repeatedly postponed. It is still on the docket for a motions hearing next week. And there is a pretrial scheduled for August 5th in the domestic violence case. And so far, there is no indication that that case won't proceed, even though the victim in the case has now passed. Back to you. What a case, Rod. So what about the murder cases, though? When do the defendants return to court? Well, uh, interesting you ask, Devin, because on August 5th, there's also going to be a probable cause hearing for the elder Cromer in this case. And also, there is another preliminary examination a week later where we were likely to get still more background on what happened mm, yeah. in the murder case. Yeah. All right. So, y'all saw that. So, this is about 
um, 32 year old woman from Detroit, Tiffany Joseph. So this case started back in 2020. Her baby daddy was angry at her, whatever. They had volatile history, you know what I mean? Which a lot of times, it's really unfortunate because it's, it's like me having two children, right? And these relationships did not work. A lot of people will blame you, but a lot of times it can be the men. Men have daddy issues and men also have mommy issues, just like women do. But they will place the blame on the woman, not realizing that that man really has some psychological issues going on, which this man clearly had because it ain't never that deep. <laughs> it's never this deep. Men, y'all are way, 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 way more emotional than some women. I ain't gonna say all women because there, there, there are cases, of course, we have snapped. You see a lot of women that snap, like they have whole series. Like I can turn on snap every Sunday and see cases that I've never heard of. But someone needs to make a snap for men. Because y'all are out here, y'all see the stories that I post and that I talk about and how these men are off their rocker. Like I've dealt like, I have not showed y'all videos and pictures of my domestic violence case, but yeah, I damn near had a night where I didn't think I was gonna be here. It was like, I had a night where I was like, it's gonna be me or you, like it's gonna be one of us. And this man straight up told me, oh, I'm prepared to be a single father whole time he had the father of my kids like granted we were in a relationship we we're living together but that goes to show you how prepared he was to take me out of this world knowing that we lived in a state where i don't have family he doesn't have family so yes my kids would only have him if something happened to me but the fact that he told me this multiple times oh i'm prepared to be a single father Y'all, I am I am glad to be here. Like what I show y'all, what I went through, I am glad to be here. But so I don't like I know y'all probably see me laugh sometimes and show, but that is not funny. Nothing about this funny. So <laughs> with this situation, like they had a volatile relationship. And I think a lot of us sometimes it, it's a two-way street. We can ignore signs because you love someone or you care about them or whatever we stay. We stay when we know it's toxic. We stay when we know it's going left. Because sometimes you pray that person can change. And you have a situation where you're not pregnant. And it's like, oh, snap. I was on my way out. I was gaining the strength to leave. But now I'm with this man's child. So maybe I should stay a little longer and try for the sake of this baby. Like, and I think that's also a mistake. Because at the end of the day, your child needs you here. Your child needs you alive. Your child needs you healthy on a mental, physical, spiritual level. Your child needs all of you. So if you have a partner that is stressing you out and causing you just a lot of harm and turmoil, like, leave. I know we want to be like, oh, you should stay. But they're like, trust Trust me, trust your sister. I think a lot of y'all, we are about the same age. Trust your little sister, because some of y'all are like, you know, a little older than me watching this, but we, it's never it's never worth it. So that's why we have situations like this. So this man choked his baby mama. Still don't really know the motive behind it. They are like now starting to go to court. That's why this is resurfacing. This happened back, you know, two years ago. So choked his baby mama, was choking her, punching her in the stomach because she was pregnant, punching her in the stomach so bad that she lost the baby. That like, that in itself is insane. That in itself, and I don't care. Like when, when I tell you I go through some shit, that y'all don't know about but that in itself is insane because men will you raw coming you all types of stuff and then when things get rough and you do get pregnant like yeah m m yeah i told you to wrap it up you didn't i told you to pull out you did so yeah now i'm pregnant and now you met you didn't you didn't think about this when we were in the midst of that y'all want to just it's a two-way street granted but a lot of times men when a whole child 
anyways when i said a man don't want to wrap it up and then when something happens like a pregnancy all of a sudden it's something that's going to disrupt their livelihood and their lives they either want you to have an abortion and i mean you can't force no woman to do something she don't want to do or they will probably go to these type of lengths to get like get rid of that like i have my own situation my child's father he never did nothing but that, that, that man definitely threatened me a few times but he little boy syndrome he, he he a little man he had a little man syndrome so i'm like and he did he did that to all because unfortunately this man has multiple baby mamas like a lot and he did the same thing to everybody but it's just i don't get it i don't get it so you went to that extent naturally he went to jail in jail because like what what why why his hatred ran so deep for his baby mama that two years into his sentence he hired his nephew this this boy man man was like what 18 19 hired her he now this man her child's father is locked up he hires his own nephew which is insane like in well, you should be in college somewhere or not in college, taking up a trade, doing something with your life. Why would you even, why would you even agree to something like this? But like, when I tell you the city is fucked up, it ain't even just a Detroit thing. Like, y'all know I, I love the city, but it's not a Detroit. It's definitely not Detroit. I love, I love my city, but there's a reason I didn't want to raise my kids there. But anyways, to get your nephew to agree to off your baby mama you're in jail she no no longer has your child you beat you hated her so much you beat the child like i forgot this part not only did he choke her punch her several times in her stomach she's trying to of course that your your you know maternal instincts kick in from the womb she's trying to protect her baby he's also putting pills down her throat she don't know what it is but of course he's he's really trying to make her have a miscarriage which she didn't at that far along like that's come on now so yeah of course unfortunately the baby passed but she's no longer carrying her child she's moving on with her life you're behind bars maybe you bitter and as you should be, you should live a long, miserable life in jail for what you did to her. And so now you hire a hitman, your own flesh and blood, to go and off her. So you still sit in that cell day by day, as you it should, as you should, thinking about her, because you did her wrong. You hire somebody to double back and finish what you didn't. So now nephew goes, shoots her, burn the house down. They don't know whether the house is burnt down. Well, I'll tell you that. They don't know whether the house is burnt down before or after the killing. Because they, you know, she they, she was found there. But they, they're not sure when this house was burnt. And unfortunately, um, that happens in the city a lot. Um, so there is a lot of abandoned houses that caught on fire or you know whatever you know so it, that part is kind of unclear when it happened but still like men y'all need to go to therapy and y'all need to do better jobs at at raising these kids like because y'all will all, like because to me the nephew that agreed to that at such a young age is now going to be in jail for the rest of his life Y'all realize, single, I'm a single mom. Granted, my kids do get in their fair share of trouble. When they do, I nip that shit in the look like, I wish you would. You know what I mean? And I try to keep them on this straight and narrow. But y'all have to admit at some point, it's not even a lack of men being there for these boys. It's the type of men that are there for these boys. Be like, I, I don't... <laughs> I see it all the time. In my neighborhood now, little boy pulled out a gun playing with the kids in the area. 
that and I'm like my son immediately runs to me and was like yo this little boy put out a gun and you told me to anytime you know like I said like that you don't play. kid my son is eight at the time he was seven there's no reason someone in his friend group should be pulling out a gun right just showing it off I don't play like that and I, I know kids that like have died from that I don't play that so immediately you ain't never going back over there I mean I mean it was still like in an area where I could see but I let my kids go outside and play whatever but the daddy ain't shit <laughs> the dad is in the house and justified that the dad has recently um recently threatened my neighbor not only threatened my neighbor sicked his dogs on my neighbor's dogs so i see where the son gets it from so y'all always want to be like oh it's a single mother and y'all ain't raising these kids right no 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 it's these two parent households they got parents that ain't shit and i see that within my own personal i'm not gonna go into too much detail but it, it is literally two parent households where the mama ain't did shit with her life the daddy ain't did shit with her life they have all these children and they running around causing a ruckus in the whole neighborhood and ain't gonna be shit and unfortunately i don't want to say that but you know what i mean but nine times out of ten you got a, a kid pulling guns around other children and you think that shit is okay and then as a father you go and threaten other neighbors because you mad and you we have got to start addressing the issues. And I will say women, it's a two-way street sometimes. But as much as like men especially get on here and bash me for being like a single mother, but what? You don't bash the men that left, right? <laughs> you bash me. It's your fault for being a single mom. You, this, not on this man in particular, but what's up? very professional very to myself even he said that like yeah you never talked to me like he kind of ended up getting my number or like <laughs> just some random ish or so he was going to lunch and he's like hey i'm going to lunch you want something i don't know where i'm going let me get your number so um you can tell me which that's how he got my number other than that i went talking to this man and it kind of just led to him calling me like when we both were not at work like hey you want to go out you want to do yada 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 cool dude was taking care of his his kids that he had my oldest son's dad i was in college he was a deep both of them are djs he was a dj slash rapper in detroit and i made him wait for three months because i was like i'm tired of y'all i'm about to, i was like really i was on my celibacy type thing and then literally right before i went to cop went back you know to start my junior year he asked me to officially be his girl he was there like why got me bought me shoes took me out to eat took me to all these restaurants i'm skipping vip lines like and at that time the popping clubs like i know wjlb okay i ain't gonna say too much but he was like on wjlb all of that if you from detroit you know that so he was on a very major station so like when it was time to party i like i'll be in his car and be chilling I'm like ain't nobody out there and i was call him like okay i'm ready to come in he like okay i'm about to let the um security know you coming in i'm walking past the lines you know what i mean so you can't blame me <laughs> but i know when these niggas wasn't doing shit when they really actually properly courted me and i mean one thing leads to another and i'm pregnant <laughs> so but what is going through their mind that they would just leave their kid and honestly not even leave their kid it's it's really like once i officially put in my mind like we are done i never want to be intimate with you again let's just raise our kid that's when they didn't want to be there that's when that hatred really 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 kicked into a, another level like y'all don't think that's it y'all don't see y'all don't see 
see that's the issue like i felt like i had to hold myself out for them to be a father you know because i can send them pictures of their child send them updates about their kid yada yada, yada. no now y'all don't see my pictures because they ain't for all y'all but i take some bomb ass pictures and videos of all of this you know so if i send them like ladies y'all know men y'all know like so if i send them like a a, a sexy video a sexy pic blowing my phone down <laughs> Blowing my phone up. Where you at? I'm about to pull up. Oh, my baby okay? Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, oh, yeah, this was just an experiment because I just told you that I was at the hospital with your baby and you didn't say anything. I seen you a uh, picture in some lingerie. Like, yeah, it was good. Negro, please. <laughs> like, and so who is the real issue here? What's the real issue? It's these bitter baby daddies. Y'all don't see that? This woman literally went on by her life, tried to go on by her life. This man is locked up, still mad, mad enough that you gonna hire your nephew to off her. But y'all still blame her for dealing with this man in the first damn place. Cause women is always the problem, especially black women. Cause it's really only our culture. Women, we're always the problem. It's always us. It's never. God forbid it's a man. And God forbid it's this black man. God forbid. Oh, you should have saw the signs. You or you made him crazy. You should have da, 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 whatever it is. But I have countless videos on my channel proving different. But it's us. Should I do better? Anyways, that's that on that. So I do want to follow the case because that's still insane. Um, so of course, rest in peace to um, Tiffany. Um, she already did have a child prior to that. So it's a lot. It's a lot. Like I can't imagine I being here with my kids, um, but I did unfortunately have situations where it could have been me, you know? So definitely stay a prayer for her also ladies do be mindful but we i feel like we try to be as mindful as we can and you will still end up with a situation like this i'm pretty sure she thought that chapter was closed i ain't got your child no more it's been two years and i'm getting attacked like insane insane like, um, if y'all made it this far, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. I promise when I get the courage to post my DV video, I will do it. I go back and forth because it's still, it's still pretty raw. But like, I'm still in the same house that it occurred in. Um, Look at that same corner. Y'all can't see this corner of my room over here in a little little walkway to my bedroom doorway. Um just one of the situations. Just one. I think the video that I'm gonna send put there, but um yeah, just just be careful and, and just collectively I just want us to do better. Like do better because that she's to blame he's to blame it's toxic let's heal together to end this and just be healthy <laughs> for each other be healthy for the children we're bringing into this world together like all this back and forth nonsense is it ain't worth it anyway so that's that on that i'll see you guys on the next one